hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel once again code with the Rins. in this video we're going to look at how to globalize ajax calls and ajax success callback functions in jquery so let's get started as you can see i have a couple of files here one is index.html then another one is index.js i have already referred the index.js in index.html and imported the jquery cdn and you, uh, in the right side you can see the output of this task first what i really gonna do is i gonna create a couple of buttons each buttons will uh, call an api and give us an output via ajax call so i gonna implement a couple of ajax call from there i can show you how to globalize a couple of ajax call into single one so i just creating a couple of buttons here one is get animals another one is get message the get animals will get uh re retry me in animal data the message will show on a message so we can implement these functions in uh, js file as a get animal uh, function this function takes a jax call inside the jax call we're gonna implement an ajax call property this is an ajax call property this is my test url it will give me uh, animal data in inside the success i just want to show the result in a web page so there's a message the next function will be the get messages so this is a get message it is also taking an ajax call here you can see the api call is get message and i just want to display it in a lot message so that's it let's save it go ahead and refresh it here i have a couple of buttons one is animal when i'm clicking an animal i'm getting an animal list perfect when i'm clicking a message i'm getting a alert message called ap called successfully fantastic it is working as we expected but in this js file it is pretty messy the same kind of ajax call the same kind of properties but the only different is the url the method can be different the data type can be different and the output what we're gonna do with the result that will be different to globalize it i'm gonna create a function which takes a single ajax call uh, from the ajax call we can send uh, our desired uh, param uh, desire data through parameters and get the expected output so for that i just gonna implement a ajax function call initiate ajax request it takes url and a method inside the url method i'm just creating ajax call the url goes in here method goes in here if you wish you can uh, use a data type from a, a parameter so here we have commonized globalized ajax call at the moment you call initiate ajax request in inside the get message by using url and a method it will work but the problem is the first get animals having a result of document outright the second get message should be in a last box so how we can do that here the callback function help us to solve this issue so once i declare the callback in a parameter the callback act as a function i just gonna return the callback function with the parameter of a result which comes from the success message of an ajax call now the function has fulfilled we can call this ajax request in get animals and get message so instead of this whole ajax call i'm calling the single initiate ajax request function it takes an url which is get animals and a method should be get here the callback parameter should be a callback animals you can uh, set uh, the name as wish like the same 
I just calling the initiate Ajax request for a get message function as well. So it takes a message. What it does do? As you can see, the callback should be a function. The function sends a result. So the callback mesh message and callback animals is turning to the functions. So here you have a function called callback animals. It gets a document at write result, and the next function should be the get message callback function. Inside the callback get message, here it is an array. Now we have globalized the Ajax call. Here you can see a single Ajax call which takes all the necessary parameters with a callback function as well. Let's see how it works. I'm going ahead, refreshing it. When I'm clicking an animal, I'm getting an animal list. When I'm clicking message, the message successfully displayed in our lab box. That's all about this video, guys. I hope you enjoy and learn about JavaScript success callback functions. If you like my video, just click a like button. If you have any doubts, uh, comment me below. And don't forget to press the subscribe button and click a bell icon to get my latest video update and share this video as much as you can. Thank you.